Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ulkan and Hayat. Today we will learn how we can add the new hard disk to an existing Linux server such as Red Hat Linux, CentOS or Debian or Ubuntu or Oracle Linux, any flavor of Linux. As a system administrator mostly have got requirement that we need to configure our hard disk uh, to the existing servers as part of upgrading the server capacity or sometime disk replacement in case of disk failure. Let's start step by step instruction. Uh, first we will log into the server and first we will check the IP of the server. So if config minus a more. So this is our IP 192.168.1.102. We just open the SSH client, putty client. Uh, we just connect to putty root password first we will see the list of the disk using f disk space minus l command f disk minus l we can see there are two disk s D A and S D B. One is 32 GB and other one is 10 GB. So now we are going to add new disk on the system, on the server. First we need to shut down this server. I am using Oracle VirtualBox. So we need to shut down server first, then we can add new disk to the server. So let's shut down the server. We will use NF0 command to make server off. So we can see uh, it's power off. Now we can right click, uh, go to the setting and st storage. Then we can add the new disk. Create new disk. So I will choose uh, 8 GB size of the new disk. So it GB. That's it. Click OK. This disk is created. OK. Now we start the machine. Start the server. Linux server. It will take little time to power on. So server is booting. We log in through root user. Or no need to SSH we can restart the session. Root. So add. now we can check the list of the disk. F disk space minus IL minus L. Now we can see three there are three disks. You can see this this disk is the new disk SDC. So now uh, first step we will make a partition for this disk. Creating either primary or extended partition. By default we can have up to four primary partition. So let's start F disk space this disk new disk SDC. So you can see there is the M where we we can see all uh, help switches related to uh, disk creation, add partitions, writing to the table, create new partition. So these all options are there. So we will use some of them to complete this tutorial. So we will make new partition, press N. And there is two type of partition, primary or extended. So we will go through the default partition, primary P, default 1 will make one partition of the disk. 
so this is uh, recommended to have a default uh, setting uh, from the start of a setter so I will choose the default setting and we can use uh, we can use the plus sign uh, to avoid value out out of range errors so then we save the table write the table to the disk and exit press W and click then hit enter see we can see checking the disk now next step is we will format the disk uh, sorry we will format the partition which we created so we created only one primary partition so it is called SDC1 hit enter so next step we will create so it is created uh, next step we will create the mounting point where we have to mount this uh, partition so we will make directly uh, name of my data 2 because my data 1 I have already 2 so I am going to mount the new partition of the new disk into my data 2 mounting point it called also mounting point so done we can see df minus h now we can see there is a partition uh, my data 2 and this is our new disk partition so I just test read and write so this is for actually this uh, option is we need to make permanent uh, boot of this partition so we need to add this partition in etc uh, fs tab file it is it is called permanent mount at boot time so no need to mount manually we just add this uh, partition information into the vfs tab and after rebooting server will mount automatically so we can now we can test we create one file test Sorry, test test now we can add some words some data on this file and we can save We can save this file. WQ. Now we can see the content of this file. Cat test. Yeah, that's done. So we adding, we added new disk. Uh, there was uh, actually five step. The uh, first step was adding the disk. Second step was the partitioning the disk. Third step was formatting the disk and fourth step was mounting the disk and fifth step was permanent boot make entry in etc and fs tab file so thank you so much for watching this video if you like please subscribe and share this video thank you bye